Senator Penry, do you yield to Senator Brophy? Senator Brophy. Thank you, Madam Chair. Well, this, you know, I wish you'd have been that passionate about protecting the small businesses that you added the pesticide and ag compounds tax to just earlier this evening, because you did that. You added a 2.9% sales tax to them that didn't exist before. But really what this bill is, is anti-consumer. Because it seeks to charge consumers more for the same good that they otherwise could get. And think about what happens when just the basic staples of life cost less because somebody has figured out, be it Sam Walton or anybody else, think about what happens to the standard of living of the poorest people who live in Colorado and the lower middle class. When those things that they used to spend $30 on now cost 15. When that happens, it frees up a lot of money for them to do other things with. Maybe support the coffee shop on Main Street if they didn't have to spend $30 to buy the book. Or even think about this for a college kid. Think about how much money college kids save buying textbooks online. Lowers the cost of going to college. Other people. It, allows them to go out for dinner and maybe support the restaurant that they otherwise couldn't support. These things happen over the course of time. And, and, and I think about this from a, from a big picture perspective. And, and, and yeah, creative destruction, that's what economists call it when this sort of thing happens. Creative destruction does cause some pain for some folks. But the, it also causes, well, the other half of that, creative, which leads to expansion and new opportunities for people. Over the course of time, over the course of the last 30 years, the average family has, is spending half of what they used to as a percentage of their income on food. Do we cry for the farmers over that or do we say that's a good thing? I think we say it's a good thing because that means you've got that much more money to spend on other things that are important to you and your family. Help, get, help them get through college, buy a bigger house, maybe take a vacation and, and really add those experiences to life, not just getting by when it used to be that you spent 20% of your income on food, now you spend 10. These are the things that happen. It's, it's not the fact that the tax isn't collected on these sales, and we've had that, I think Senator Mitchell brought this up. There's a, there's a, there's a real reason why a bipartisan group of congressmen voted to make sure the internet wouldn't be taxed, because they understood that internet retailers are different than brick and mortar ones and that they don't require the not really free, free trash pickup in Denver. They don't require the, the fire department. They don't have kids in the local schools, so they don't, they're not paying those property taxes. They're not, they don't require the same services that brick and mortar retailers require and that people who live in the state require, but they can provide something to the customers in Colorado that they can't get somewhere else. They can provide a better price on some things, but not all things. You know, Senator Johnson and I both noted that we will often end up at the tattered cover with our wives. Can't do that at Amazon.com. Can't sit and have a cup of coffee and browse through a bunch of books at Amazon.com. But, but these are the things that happen over time. Think about how many blockbuster movie rental stores there are left now that Netflix can do what it does. Not many. It's actually not because now you can rent a movie for a dollar and you don't even have to leave your house to do it. And that frees up more time for you to spend with your kids watching movies. These are, these are actually good things. But passing this bill is a step in the wrong direction. And it's a step that's just not going to work. This is not going to, this is not going to pass the court's test. It really won't. We won't get the money, as I said before. It's fake money to balance a fake budget. Senator Renfro. 